This is the best camper for ripping the dunes. This is a 2024 Grey Wolf 18RR and this is the smallest toy hauler we got. This is also the most affordable toy hauler we have. We can get you one of these bad boys for under uh, 25,000 clams. Barely over 200 bucks a month. Let's pop open this garage here, take a look at where we're gonna store the ATVs and dirt bikes. Bop, now we got a ramp here, drive the toys right up into the back. You can see we actually have a nice little screen door here as well. And it'll get you the full camping experience, you know. You can feel that lakeside breeze over at Silver Lake Sand Dunes. But uh, you won't have to let any of the bugs in. And then uh, if we want to, of course we can turn this whole thing into our patio deck. Boop, now we got a whole patio deck out here. I'd set up my grill out here, you know, get a good look at Lake Michigan. Got the backup camera up top as well as a nice bright LED light. Coming on inside this honker. Wowie zowie. Underneath this big old sofa thing, uh, we do have our dining table that you can set up right here. Otherwise, this will just be completely removed, so this whole thing will be a wide open garage area. I will put the dimensions of the garage right here. Right here. Kitchen area right here, we got a big old farmhouse style sink, detachable faucet, three burner gas stove, and then we got the air fryer microwave combo underneath that. 10 cubic foot refrigerator, travel lock is uh, built into that. Got a pantry here, decent space in there. Uh, right above that, friggin' subwoofer in the ceiling, so we got some speakers up here um, connected to the sound system. That'll also connect to some speakers outside. We're gonna go look at those later. Right here is where you're gonna mount your TV, uh, thermostat. Your banya is next to that. Just uh, nothing crazy here. Walk-in shower with a skylight, though. I know this is by no means an impressive amount of countertop space in the bathroom, but for an RV, that's really not bad. Especially an RV of this size. This thing, this is a little guy. Um, the bed area, we're saving weight and space, so we do not have a wall, we have a curtain. Yeah, yeah, regular bed. There's an inverter over there and um, some pop lights, a little bit of storage, a little wardrobe. A little bitty wardrobe, hang some clothes up. Sweet uh, graphic projection coming from the ceiling there. Wowie zowie. Undercarriage storage right here. You see we got our nice uh, mud tires in there. That'll help you out when you're driving to the dunes or driving through the dunes maybe. Really just helps with side to side traction but it also looks friggin' sweet. There's those outdoor speakers I was talking about. You can mount another TV right between them here. Big ol' honkin' windows so we got great views. Uh, this is all underneath our awning so we can have a sick outdoor party. Leash latches in the back so your doggies can also be included in said party that'll hold up to 1500 pounds. And then if we go all the way around to the other side of the camper, uh, the party doesn't even stop. We got an outdoor shower. Outdoor shower at the dunes is clutch. Psh. Any Michigander anywhere near the coastline knows how much of a bummer it is to get sand all over your, your house and your car. And and your RV, so shower all that, shower all that stuff off before you go in and make a mess. Get sand everywhere. Ugh. Give me a, give me a jingle if you got any questions on this bad boy. The phone is in the bio.